people drive out there and that's just the truth. I don't give a fuck who don't like it. Man, listen, one thing about me, I don't give a fuck. If I was on this team, I would have said it to his face. And every one of my teammates know I would. So I'm riding for Jimmy. I don't take nothing back. Ain't no apologizing. I ain't apologizing for nothing I said. It's the truth. I, everything I said, the kid got a lot of talent. He got a lot of upside. The kid can be real good. But if he don't go see the wizard, he gonna be one of the biggest busts of all time. Just like the other kid from Canada that came. What's the other kid from Canada that, that, that Cleveland drafted? Now he not even in the league no more. You dig what I'm saying? So hey, I only speak facts, you know what I'm saying? And to all you people that's on my page and that's on my live that, that either don't have a profile pic, you either have 100 to 55 followers and you have no posts, you are not getting a response from me, bro. It don't work like that, okay? It don't work like that. I know I'll never see you. I know you'll never say that to me in person. So just follow me and add my followers, okay? Just continue to follow me because you won't get a reply. But I thank you for following and getting on my live because you're making me hot. All you haters is the reason why this shit went, out, went viral. So I appreciate y'all. Just keep following, but you will not get a reply, okay? Because I got a saying, for people that come on my live, for people that come on my live, and for people that say stuff with no profile pic and just trying to start mess and not have a, trying to have a, uh, a healthy conversation on Instagram, I thank Travis Scott for this song because this is a line that I sing to everybody that's just jump on here and wanting attention. Stop trying to be God. That's not who you are. Stop trying to be God. Hey, stop trying to be God, man. I wish Wiggins the best, man. You know what I'm saying? If, if I had his athleticism with the way I played, ooh, Lord. Ooh, Lord, that's scary. But the kid got a lot of upside, man. I just want him to care more about the game because the game giving him a lot. The game is changing his life, changing his family life. You know what I'm saying? So show the game some, some appreciation and play it like you appreciate it. That's all. Why you think teams trading him? Why you think teams don't want him? Facts. But you want to get mad because the real one said Nah, I ain't the one to get mad at. I promise you. I ain't the one. Or the two. You feel me? I don't want no smoke with the little one because it ain't worth it. Because that's 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 definitely a dub for me. Him and his brother. So that, I don't look for smoke like that, man. Listen, I've been in real shootouts and shit in life. You know what I'm saying? I've been in real shit and put out to Texas. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to. I don't want to be involved in no fights. No shootouts and no shit like that because I've really been through it. All that shit is behind me. So I'm not even to the point where I'm mad like that. You know what I'm saying? It's just some words been said, and I know they ain't built like that, so I never got that mad. That's why I came out and said, bro, I wish you the best. Keep that, all that energy stuff, talk to somebody else because I'm not the one for that, bro. You know what I'm saying? I know I ain't got it all. So if I see the little nigga, as long as he ain't on no dumb shit, that's the last thing I think about. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, I wish him the best, man. I hope he have a great career. I don't brag on the dumb shit, but I'm experienced with the dumb shit. Fuck you, man. Just, just go to the wizard, man, and play harder. Help your team get to the playoff. And anybody on that 03 Spurs team will tell you, ain't no championship without stack five. Proof is in the pudding, baby. I was far, I'm far from a bum. I probably can bust his ass right now at 40. Try me. Fuck out of here. I love basketball, man. I'm going to play this shit. I play one speed, and that's 2,000 miles power. I don't have no friends. My best friend is Al Harrington. When we play uh, Trilogy, when we play in Big Three, when I play against Al in the NBA, ask Al. That's my best friend. I'd die for Al. But on the court, I'm trying to win. I'm talking shit. Being personal, whatever it takes to win the game of basketball. That's just how I am. So what? Competing with the best. Well, I wasn't better than Kobe. But ask Kobe about me. Ask Kobe about me. I wasn't better than Kobe. No way even close. Not even the same category with Kobe. But ask Kobe about me. You see what I'm saying? I'm nowhere close to the same category with LeBron. Not even close. Night and day. But ask LeBron about me. I battled with KD, not even close to KD. Not it, I won't even be in nowhere close to the Hall of Fame. But ask KD about me. Yeah, 
I'm respected by my peers. I, I, I didn't come, like I said, I never, I didn't come in the game to be Jordan, LeBron, Kobe. I wanted to find my own lane and be Steven Jackson. And that's, I'm going to continue to be Steven Jackson for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? I hope this shit with Wiggins die down. I said what I had to say. It ain't no beef because I'm going to guarantee you, I'm, I don't want no problems because I, you know what I'm saying? I got too much shit going and it ain't that serious to me. You know what I'm saying? That ain't beef. That ain't beef. So nobody, don't call that beef. That ain't beef. You know what I'm saying? You know when I got beef with somebody. It ain't, it ain't going to be none of that. You know what I'm saying? I said what I had to say. That's how I feel. I feel like he ain't got no heart. And that's what it is. Now, if they come to me with a different attitude, then hey, you know, I know how to handle that very well. But I wish him the best and I hope he go to the wizard before the season and find him a fucking heart. And that's just what it is. And I know Tibbs, I know Coach Tibbs want to tell him that. I know some of his teammates want to tell him that. You know what I'm saying? But all that yes man shit, that's what's wrong with the game today. You know what I'm saying? The reason why I love KD so much. This is why I love KD so much, bro. Not only because he's one of the best players ever. But when he came out with the fake page, we had a conversation about it. And he and I told him how I felt. He heard what I said on TV. And we called and spoke about it. You know what I'm saying? And it wasn't no issue. You know what I'm saying? He understood as a big brother. If you do something that I don't approve of, I'm, I'm going to speak on it. I ain't got no, I ain't got no, uh, no hate towards you, but Katie know, Katie know he like my little brother. He been to my mama house. We done been together and all that. My mama house, he didn't hung out. We done been places. So that's a different situation. But by the fact that he know that it wasn't, I'm speaking as a big brother and he know that I, I didn't approve of that fake page shit. We talked about it and it was over with. And that's still my little brother to this day. I arrived for him. You know what I'm saying? But most of these kids, they so sensitive, they can't take it. They can't take it. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they can't take criticism. Bruh, all 345 people on here, if you know anything about me, do you know the things people said about me when I was playing? Just think about that for a second. Yeah, I'm rolling up. Yeah, I'm, def I'm definitely rolling up. Just got a nice workout in. Going to burn one, then go do CrossFit. Yep, burn one, then go do CrossFit. You heard me right. Yeah, but think about it. Just think about all the stuff they said about me when I played, bruh. You think these young kids can handle that? After that brawl in Detroit, after the shootout incident at the strip club in Indiana? Can you imagine what these people were saying about me? Millions of dollars, he wants to shoot up a strip club, da 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 not even understanding I was helping my teammate. The only two times I've been in trouble in my life, dog. In my life. The only two times I got arrested in my life was helping my teammates. Helping Ron Artest in, in uh, Detroit in the brawl. And helping Jamal, Jamal Tesley outside the strip club in Indiana. The only two times I've been arrested and been in trouble. Helping somebody else. The ultimate teammate. <laughs> trying to tell you that's just how I was raised man if you my brother if I'm with you I'm with you until the wheels fall off I ain't no sometime homeboy I ain't sometime with you if I'm with you you know what I mean I ain't gonna be with you sometime I'm with you all the time for nothing for nothing you know what I'm saying you know, and I don't want no praise for it. I'm just a rider, and I don't check the mileage. You know what I'm talking about? Say, so, man, and then this this another crazy thing, too, though. I'm finna give y'all something that nobody know. Steven Jackson the thug. Steven Jackson, he's, he's, just a, he's, he's just a problem. He He's a gangster. He don't need to be in the NBA, duh, duh, duh. He's always in trouble. Bruh, do you know this? I've never been in a fight in the NBA game. One, because motherfuckers knew I was really going to go there. I ain't just going to be up there talking for the hell of it for TV and to make it look good on TV. I'm really going to go there. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? For real. Say, so, this how the conversation should have went with uh, 
Andrew Wiggins and his brother when Andrew found out his brother sent out that tweet about hallelujah and all that, right? I'm Andrew Wiggins. Say, big bro, I don't think you should have sent that tweet out. Why you say that? Shit, because, you know, Jimmy Butler, man, he played with a lot of heart. He played hard. He played with a lot of heart. And I ain't got no heart. Now, you want to get on social media and talk about Jimmy? We lose him. Our team ain't got no heart. Now, if you're going to take me uh, to the Wizard and uh, help me find a yellow big road to give me a heart, then cool. You can talk about Jimmy all you want. Because you know I ain't got no heart. So, shit, you going to take that back or, or help me find a yellow big road and take me to the Wizard, man? Because, shit, I ain't got no heart at all. That's why Cleveland traded me. No bullshit. Nigga, you ain't got no heart. And your brother... You ain't gonna play basketball, why you worry about that, bro? But like he said, keep that same energy. Say, little one, you got a lot of talent, kid. You got a lot of talent. And I, I hope you have a good year. I hope somewhere you can find some heart and find some passion for the game and have a good year. I really wish you the best. Oh, I'm 40. Thank God I'm happy to see 40. Bum. I, n I never been, never been that. You know that. Uh, I'm from the old school, bro. I'm cut under the old law. You know what I'm saying? Respect it or check it. All that, I'm going to have that same energy when, wherever I go, all that. Say, man, make sure your energy straight when you see me, bro. All right? I'm pretty sure you know who I am. Make sure your energy straight. Just focus on finding some heart and having a good year. I wish you the best. You got a lot of talent. Just find that. Please don't try to do that with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just keep that same energy. I'll catch you in traffic. 100. Hallelujah. Keep that same energy. Let the church say amen. What's good, y'all? It's King T's. Welcome back to Throughout the Association. And, man, how did a Jimmy Butler trade the man turn into Steven Jackson getting into it with Andrew Wiggins and his brother? Now, let me break down the timeline of everything for y'all. Once Andrew Wiggins' brother found out Jimmy Butler demanded a trade from Minnesota, he went on Twitter and he said hallelujah with a smiley face. And that's why Jimmy Butler posted that video on his Instagram story of him saying keep that same energy with hallelujah and a smiley face. Now, that's when Steven Jackson posted a video on Instagram clowning Andrew Wiggins' brother, defending Jimmy Butler, and saying Andrew Wiggins got no heart. Now, the score reposted this video on Instagram, and Stephen Jackson commented and said, respect it or check it, you dig? And Andrew Wiggins responded to Stephen Jackson comment and said, you ain't do nothing special, my G. Bum ass, I keep that same energy everywhere I go. Then Andrew Wiggins went to his own Instagram story, and he said, Stephen Jackson slash old dude stay hating like he was anything special. Bum ass, I keep that same energy everywhere I go. And that's when Steven Jackson posted another video on Instagram, basically saying, okay, Andrew Wiggins, we're going to see if you stay to your word. But I was not a bum. Then, <laughs> Andrew Wiggins' brother commented on Steven Jackson's video, and he said, you hit catch and shoot threes. Your PPG was probably 6.5. Never been on the highlight unless Duncan was double teamed or Parker kicked it out to you. When's the last time you seen your own highlights pop up on the tube? LOL, your retirement looked like it's going great. Nice wall. Now, of course, Steven Jackson responded, and he said, I see your goggle don't work. I think he meant Google, but I'm going to stay with goggle. He said, I see your goggle don't work. What NBA you played in again? What chip you got? Oh, my bad. Your brother made it. Truth hurt. You suck too, clown. Respect it or check it. I ain't hard to find. Get off my page. Retirement is going great. Thanks for asking. I'm on TV more than your brother. Now, that's when Steven Jackson went on Instagram Live, and y'all better be caught up now because I will never repeat that again, but... Andrew Wiggins, just some advice. Anybody rocking do-rags with a tail out in 2018, leave them alone, okay? They dangerous. But I'm not even sure what side to take in this situation because Steven Jackson is right. Without Andrew Wiggins' brother saying anything, none of this would be a situation. But then Andrew Wiggins is right to defend himself. But then Steven Jackson was just telling the truth because Andrew Wiggins, he play hard for one game and then he take five games off. And then Steven Jackson was even more right because Andrew Wiggins is not really qualified to even call Steven Jackson the bum. Steven Jackson had a better career than Andrew Wiggins is having. Then Andrew Wiggins' brother says Steven Jackson averaged, what, 6.5? What year was you watching? 
and you didn't average nothing. So, so what are you talking about? So I guess if I got to take a side in this situation, I would go with Steven Jackson. But I do think Steven Jackson was a bit harsh to start things off. And he do be sounding like he be hating sometimes. I can't lie. But I'm going to take his side in this situation. But honestly, this is a bunch of nothing. It'll take one phone call, one conversation to end all this. Nobody should be damn near fighting over a tweet that say hallelujah with a smiley face. If anything, this should be between Andrew Wiggins' brother and Jimmy Butler. Jimmy Butler causing issues in the locker room and outside it too. What you guys think about this? And definitely subscribe.